Am I going to take you to Disneyland with your being this bad? Who's green? Purple. Superstar. Alice Cooper. Jesus Christ Superstar, live in concert, Easter Sunday on NBC. Jesus Christ Superstar, it's on Easter Sunday! Oh! So, uh, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good that they see you. wanted to, they thought yeah, the ponies were so I'm beautiful that they I'm wanted to take them to their own farm. Just gotta do my best. Let me hear that, um... After dealing with Hagen's temper tantrum, Mom went to Kelsey to clean her own room, but she didn't really take to the idea. I was standing in the other room watching Chris. Well, why don't you just get up and leave? Because I wanted to talk to my son. Get up and leave. Jesus Christ, superstar! It's a lot of pressure, you know. It's a really big show that is really important to a lot of people. Yeah. Of course, the characters are pretty important to a lot of people too. Jesus Christ, superstar! Recently, as Mary Magdalene. Yeah. So, how did you get involved? You obviously you're on Broadway right now, doing waitress. Well, let's have a look. Theater mode. I am. Yeah, I think you know, being a part of the theater community is has definitely developed relationships with people who are, were working on the project, but it happened so fast. I mean, they asked me, and I was a yes. There I was a book the one inside. Absolutely. You're right. <laughs> like, let's just and it chewed up all of okay. the pages. So you're a producer on the project as well. What stamp are you bringing to it? Because I'm sure, you know, this. everybody brings their own thing to each production of this iconic music. They can well, make Christmas story, the way it used the to be. The of the original was that it kind of brought the story to the current time when it was written. Yeah. It's side table. It to make it feel like it, 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 it's timeless, but also current. I have to tell you that every time I think about this, I get very anxious Goodbye, and stressed for you. Because it's like live on television yeah. musical. I mean, but that's what we do. We, we yeah. go on live We're on the TV. Time. Is it the same as if it's you on you? stage or in a concert? <laughs> I know, but I'm not singing and dancing. <laughs> Well, we're going to try to make it like it's a, a rock concert to some extent. Wow. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a show, a Wait, live show. Are you already rehearsing? No. No. I got a letter to prove She's it. She's busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's just funny. My yeah, hand came I'm back. My hand came back. From all down to your from all down to your going on, but we'll. We'll make sure we're ready. Oh, it's incredible. And there's going to be a live audience. Yeah. Right? That, that's got to add a, live a nice audience. element. It'll be a good energy, I think. It'll be yeah. here in New York. About this show is that it's a it's a rock opera, so it's it's I mean it sort of it's it's so primed for that. Yeah. You know, for audience. For I would stand in the other room watching, watching Chris. Concert. Yeah. Now tell me about what little Luna's doing. She's two now. She's almost two. Almost two. What, she's like, what her walking and talking and, and wreaking havoc. Oh, I think that Tutter <laughs> hurt his tail. Yes, she we is. We get Tucker fixed, Yeah. Yes. Funny things that Chrissy does that I literally say. She makes me laugh all the time. I know. I'm like, we need a drinking contest. Drink when we take Chrissy's tea. <laughs> we didn't know one would be surviving. This is the best Twitter account. She really Andy does. Andy W, I will give you your punishment. Sarah, you just extended your run with Waitress. And we're announcing today, actually, yeah, two e an, an extra two weeks. So I'm at the diner. Till March 11th. They're never getting me out of there. No, but I mean, it's, you wrote all the songs, and now you've come in to be a part of it. What has that experience?
it's meant to you. Oh my gosh, it's just, I mean, this show has really changed my life wholly. It's its like, there's life before Waitress and life after Waitress, and I'm so yeah! we're so lucky to be coming up on our two-year anniversary and having people still wanting to see the show, and we're really, we're a happy little company there. Well, we are happy to have you here. So exciting to Lamb have you guys chop. the NBC That's musical. not the way you ask for bread. Would you ask for it properly? You guys know the gender, but we don't get to know, right? The rest of the world. I don't, I don't know why it's a secret yet, but it doesn't we're, have we're, to just be a holding, secret, we're just holding on to it for a little while longer. Yeah, yeah. well, congratulations. You two together forever, so the I world seems fine. I believe you Superstar live in concert. It's on Easter Sunday, April 1st, right here on NBC. Thanks, we'll be seeing you a lot. Thank you. Hello, today, fans. Thanks. You're quite out of muffins. And when a tantrum erupts, goodbye, piglet. I guess we will never know what was bothering uh, her. By talking about uh, why this musical now, why did you decide you wanted to produce it? Well, uh, I like you. I grew up listening to music and uh, <laughs> I actually worked on a production of it when I was in high school. And uh, it's always just been part of, I don't know, the musical theater world and the, and the rock music world also because it was a sort of rock opera before it was a, you know, a theater production. And uh, we just thought, you know, we, we've been doing... NPW, I will give you your test. Um, NPW, I will give you your punishment. Time of the year, and someone got the idea to do Jesus Christ Superstar on Easter, which I just think, I don't know how you get better than that. <sighs> Scheduling-wise, um, I grew up watching the Ten Commandments on ABC for a lot of years. It made Ruth into Saturday, so... I thought Sunday was right for the taking, so I called Craig and Neil and I said, what about Superstar and, uh, and Mark Platt, who's our other set producer who's not here tonight, and everybody really fell in love with the idea. Yeah, I mean, Superstar. It's on on April 1st. Something that everybody kind of has a deep emotional connection to is what we discovered, because when that music is really goes through, <coughs> the idea of this particular story and the way that Andrew and Tim chose to tell it, it was really, really kind of revolution. Revolutionary, especially at the time that, that they wrote it. Yeah, well, why don't we start with that then? I mean, it was revolutionary both in terms of the music and the depiction of Jesus and Judas. Now it's gone everywhere. Well, what changed? I, I think that uh, it really. It, it... I was standing in the other room watching Chris. <laughs> reflect and put out the passion that was put into the, the writing of the music. Yeah. And you've jumped in with both feet, you're co-producing this as well as starring in it. Tell me about why this project was something you wanted to put your time and energy into. I, bottom line is, they offered me the chance to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mommy! Let's do it! interested. <laughs> uh, you said that your sister and your mom introduced you to this, this, this show? Yeah, my, uh, my musical theater, in, my musical influences were musical theater influences growing up. Influences. Uh, did the original one. It was in Hard Day's Night, by the way. Alice it Cooper. Hard Day's Night, Victor Spinetti. And he said, I want something more cynical. I, I want something a little bit more dangerous. And, and the character you play, Alice Cooper, has it, got that danger in his voice. I said, well, sure, I'll try. And he liked the way that I did it. And so I think when this came out... You're quite out of muffins!
I'm giving you a warning. You do that again. Was standing in the and other room watching Chris. This show on this day on a Who wants to make a Z? The overall storyline of, of this particular uh, <clears throat> show is the last week of Jesus' life through the lens of Judas and his close community of disciples. So um, it's it's the betrayal, it's the crucifixion, it's uh, his relationship with Mary Magdalene. Um, it's a it's a roller coaster of emotion is what this. I'll get the save our. Yeah. 